This is for my people that grew up with narcissistic parents or parent or emotionally immature parents that have some issues around their body and spicy time. How do we start healing that? When we notice that our relationship to spicy time, to our body, isn't quite the healthiest, that we do things to people please to try to uh, prevent rejection or invalidation, prevent love being taken away, or to try to please our partner, right? How do we start working on that? Well, one, we have to start understanding the difference between our intuition and our trauma responses. When we are in spicy time and we start to shut down, right? We start to tune out. We start to get in our heads and worry about things. We start to overly people please, right? Where we will try to focus so much on our partner's experience that we're not even paying attention to what we need or want in that moment. Or we utilize spicy time as a way to get closer because we think we have to, right? When these things happen, we have to start discerning, am I doing this because I want to be doing this in this moment or is it because of a trauma response? But a lot of us don't know the difference between our intuition and our trauma responses because again, we grew up with parents that really never gave us the ability to trust ourselves, to have our own voice. Their voice was always louder than ours. So a lot of times our intuition is a lot quieter. It's a lot more subtle, right? It's this nagging sensation that we have in the background of our mind and it's a lot calmer. It's a lot more neutral, right? Those hyper fixated feelings or those, you know, super heightened feelings, the anxiousness, like the, the extreme butterflies. Like I've had clients describe it as like, it feels like I'm getting ready to go down a roller coaster and that can feel really good, except it's an anxious fawning response to trying to be so into it, so into it that we're not actually aware, we're just doing it or we're, we're you know, focusing in on our partner so much because we're worried about being rejected. So if you are struggling with that, look at first, what what it, does it look like to have that trauma response, right? Is your, are your emotions like really, really heightened? Is it feel really swinging? Do you have like these repetitive thoughts that keep showing up that, you know, like kind of feels a little anxious or does it, does it seem like just a kind of a background thought or, you know, sensation that's very neutral, very calm, very stable? That's gonna give you some clues there. If you want more tips on this and information on working through this, stay tuned and make sure you're following.